Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Big Floppy Froze and welcome to a PC build. Expect one of these weeks because PC gaming is becoming more affordable as we go on. So, this is a five. This is a $500 build, but that is without mail-in rebates. If you, if you decide to use the MIRs, then it is only around $450. Do not expect any PCs below $400 and above $700 unless they are requested in the comments below. I will leave a link to the PC part picker list I use in the description. If you don't know what that is, it's a it's a way to check if your parts are compatible and pick the components, and it shows you the cheapest way to safely get your parts. So let's jump in with the CPU of the build with the AMD FX uh, 6300 3.5 GHz 6 core processor. It is 6 core, which is a little more than you need, but it is only $90. And for that, there's no better CPU for that money. I could go with the quad core and be perfectly happy. I would definitely recommend this because you're in the future gaming six cores will definitely become way more helpful. And you can do some overclocking on this if you get an overclocking motherboard, which is in the build. And the motherboard is the Gigabyte GA 970A ATX AM3 Plus motherboard. This and the CPU can both support 1866 MHz RAM, and you can do some slight overclocking on it. It depends what um, uh, cooler you get. You can get a liquid cooler and get a lot of overclocking, uh, and you can even get 8 cores out of the CPU if you get a really high-end one, or you can just get a simple one and get some a slight overclocking. But this, comes, this motherboard comes with 6 SATA ports, um, Two PCIe Express ports, but no built-in video. Uh, but you know, the thing is, it's only fifty-seven dollars, which is amazing. Normally, this is around eighty dollars, but there's a mail-in rebate on this, which makes it a great deal. For memory, we have Kingston HyperX Fury Black, eight gigabytes, two by four gigabytes, six of DDR3 memory, clocked at eighteen sixty-six megahertz. This is only $42, which is insane. Normally, this is around $55, but RAM is at an all-time low. So, if you want to pick up 16 gigabytes, if you're going to be doing some video editing on it, highly recommended. Um, if you actually look around a little more, you could find 16 gigabytes for only $70, which is insane. But, this will definitely give you the performance you want for gaming, and really, anything else, I guess. Uh, for storage... We have the Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte 3.5 inch 7200 7, RPM, which 7200 RPM is what I meant to say. But it's a hard drive. Yep, it's just one terabyte of storage. And for only $43, though, this is on sale right now. And normally they're $50, which is this since it's on sale, it's the only reason I'm recommending it over the Western Digital Blue Caviar. But. Other than that, this is a great hard drive, and we'll get the job done. If you think you're going to use a little more, I'd recommend looking for the Seagate 2TB or the 3TB models. But, if you're going to use a lit, like, if you think you can squeak by with only 120 gigabytes, which will be, like, only a few games, definitely go with an S uh, 120 gigabyte SSD, and you'll be, you'll be fine if that's, if you can definitely squeak by on that. Okay, for... The power supply, I went with the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus certified um, non-modular power supply. This is only $27. 500 watt power supply, brand new, $27. That is insane. It does come with a mail-in rebate. But, like, 500 watts, 80 plus bronze certified for $27. Shit, man. I mean... That's just amazing. You cannot beat that, no matter what. Alright, for the most expensive and definitely the biggest part of the build, we have the graphics card. We chose the ASUS Radeon R9 270X 2GB graphics card. While you can just pick any 270GB 270X uh, graphics card, like MSI or Sapphires. I picked this one because it was the cheapest, it was on sale. And if you do choose to use something like MSI, it, it they they make great products. They're one of my favorites. But I did have a problem with my Sapphire one. It's actually well, it was actually dead on arrival, which really made me mad. Which is why, if you don't want to go with them, I'd understand. This is only one hundred and fifty-three dollars. 
which is really good. No, when I got mine, it was around 180. But uh, what's gonna happen is it'll probably you can probably find one on sale, and you get a free copy of Dirt Rally. Although you can go with a GTX 960. Which will get you a free copy of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, and they're only around one eighty dollars right now. Plus, there's a twenty dollar man rebate, which makes them only one makes them only one sixty. But the thing is, it does not. There's an, there's a new article saying that um, GTX graphics cards do not fully support DirectX 12. Which, if you're gonna be gaming on that, that's that's the main thing you're gonna be using. I can guarantee that. Which is why I recommend going with this one. Because it is a little less expensive and it is just a little less powerful. But now we're going to go with the uh, case for the build. We went with the Thermaltake VL8001W2Z ATX Mid Tower Case. The reason I went with this, it is only $21, which is absolutely amazing. And it'll get you everything you need solid airflow and everything. But. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you liked it. Um, check the description. You can tweak this build a little bit, but make sure to request more.